Merry Christmas to everyone. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I uh, would like to apologize that we are coming on a little bit late. But I'd like you to turn with me to uh, the Gospel of St. Luke. Gospel of St. Luke, chapters number 1. We're reading from verse 26 to 33. It's a long read, so. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Verse number 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. Verse number 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be, he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall, listen, the Son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today we are Christmas. And I try to look up the word Christmas. What, what, is, what it actually meant? You know, there is this controversy about, okay, well, 25th is not the Christmas day. Uh, how that... Uh, uh, Christmas is a pagan uh, 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 ceremony. How that some churches are not, uh, they don't no. celebrate Christmas and all that and all that. The dictionary tries to define Christmas as. And then the second definition is that it's a Christian holiday. A Christian holiday celebrating the birth of Christ. And I think that is appropriate. Christmas is a Christian holiday celebrating the birth of Christ. The birth of Christ. Notice that. The birth of Christ. So who is Christ? We understand by the Bible that Christ is the anointed one and his anointing. There is only one person in heaven and under the earth that bears that title. And his name is Jesus. So Christmas actually is a celebration we are celebrating one, the birthday of Christ, the Son of God. Secondly, we are celebrating this, we're celebrating the birth of the anointed one and his anointing. So important. It's so important. Hallelujah. Praise God. Others of other millions have tried to describe Christmas as. A holy day, or a holy day of obligation, a national holiday. You observe that most nations of the world, most few nations, declare the twins the anointed one and his anointing. Others have gone on to say a public holiday. So there's something significant about the birth of Jesus Christ. He was conceived of the word of God. The angel appeared and, and, and greeted Mary. He said, Hail, thou that art highly favored. He said, The Lord is with you. He was to come to, into the world through Mary as the, the Savior, not a Savior. It's not one of the Saviors. The Savior, the main one. The Savior who brings salvation to man from sin from which they could not be saved. The Savior who brings eternal life a special kind of life to man is today, the 25th, because when he was born, we were born 
in him. He was born of the word of God. You know, the word of God, I mean, became flesh. We, flesh, became the word of God through Jesus Christ, through the word. Amen. So, he came to take away our sins. No other person could have done that. Every other because the sacrifice for sin was with the blood of bulls and animals. But Jesus, in order to offer to God a perfect sacrifice for sin, the Son of God became the Son of Man. He took on humanity so that he could be able to effectively take all your sins, represent you, take away your sin. Or American or South American or African or wherever, or the Asian countries or the Latin American countries, there is no reason under the sun for any man or woman to go to hell because the sin question has been taken care of. Jesus came as the savior of mankind from sin and he actually went to the cross of Calvary and became sin for all of us. The whole world. you need to understand that he didn't do it. Amen. Amen. You know, you, you know, the birth of Jesus was prophesied in Isaiah chapters number 9, verse number uh, 6 to 7. Let's go there. It says, For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called. See, it was prophesied. Amen. It was prophesied. He said, unto us the child is born, and unto us the son is given. Now, if you turn with me, the word government there actually means, in Hebrew, misro. It's pronounced, it's, it's misra, it's pronounced misro. It's empire. It stands for the word empire, empire, which also means government, which means a recovery of his increase. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forevermore. You know, so this government is, 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 is divine, it's theocratic, uh, it's absolute. Position to tell us what to do with COVID and what not to do with COVID. I heard during the, uh, the COVID argument in the early days of uh, this uh, virus called COVID, they said that we, that the Bible said that we must obey all governments. Well, the government is the creation of the word of God. I know that there are governments, a few governments all over the world that are not so the word of God. But those are, so Christmas is actually a holy celebration of the birth of the Son of God. It's the holy celebration of the anointed one and his anointing. And by implication, a holy celebration of the anointed. I'm actually interested in the first six letters of the, the first six alphabet of the word government, of the word Christmas. See, divinity came into the world as man for, for one purpose. To save mankind from sin. And then secondly, to impart the divine life. There's a life. There's the, 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 the life that the biologists call bios, bios. And then there's, there's the plant life, there's the animal life, and then there's the spirit. There's the negative spirit. Christmas is actually the celebration of your own special birth. You are born of the word of God. We are not born of flesh. Is it okay? The first born, the, your first birth came through the agency of your parents, the natural birth, the human birth. But the real birth, which is significant and most important, is the birth that happened when Jesus came. When he was born today, you were asked. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city, and Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. Asked Mary, his espouse by night, 
And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. You see, to all people, to all people, not to Christians, to all, all world, all nations of the world. To God in the highest, and on it, on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, for unto you, that's the angels, the heavenly messengers, bringing the good news of salvation, of deliverance, of sin, of sickness, of affliction, of poverty, and lack, bringing the good news to you. He said, for unto you is but, uh, number 10, he says, be it known unto you, this is Peter speaking, be it known unto you all, to you all, and to all the people of Israel that, by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand before you whole. Then proceeding for he said, he said in Acts chapter number 4 verse 11, this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither, Acts chapter number 4 verse 12, neither is there salvation in any other? For there, for there, there no other name. Other cannot save you. They, whether you are a senator or a governor or a vice president or whoever you are, a military general, those names are just ordinary tags. They cannot bring salvation to you. Just one name. The name of Jesus and the, the, the Holy Spirit is letting us know here. Says, there is no name under heaven whereby we must be saved except the name of Jesus. A name that God reverses, that God honors, that God has promoted and exalted. You see, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name. See that, see that. You see, so the name of Jesus was not conferred on him by man. The name of Jesus was conferred on Jesus by deity, by divinity, by God. Wherefore God also highly exalted. Every tongue should what? Confess. Every tongue should confess that what? Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. So Jesus was born on December 25th on Christmas Day. And when he was born, you were born in him. Because everything he did, he did in your place. He did. He was the perfect from spiritual death to life. You've been taken away from the kingdom of hell, of Satan, to the kingdom of God. Your job and primary responsibility is to bring others into the kingdom. It's not a church thing. You have a personal responsibility.